anyhow, I would like to call to order this meeting of the Monroe County Stormwater Management Board on Wednesday, November 10th, 2021. And we're going to start out with old business today, which is a request for funding from Lake Monroe Water Fund. Um, Ms. Satonia, would you like to take it from here? Yeah, so this is under old business because I brought this up at last month's meeting. Um, so this all came about because previously Monroe County has funded, um, it was the installation and then operation and maintenance of the USGS stream gauge um, in Kurtz, Indiana. Um, it's on the South Fork of Salt Creek. The stream gauge was put in as part of the Lake Monroe watershed management planning effort. And um, they will be using the data in the watershed management plan. Um, and they hope to use it um, in the future as they begin implementing the watershed management plan to hopefully see measurable improvements in water quality due to the reduction of non-point source pollutants. A lot of it is from agriculture, um, but other different um, practices that they can um, implement in the watershed. So, um, this has been a long process and I think we finally found a resolution for this. Um, the best part of what I'm bringing to you is that we've gotten Jackson County more involved in this project. And I'm just really thrilled with the work that, um, you know, CBU, Friends of Lake Monroe, Lake Monroe Water Fund, um, and of course, Jackson County have all kind of come together on this agreement. So. Previously, Monroe County was under contract with USGS to um, fund the stream gauge. We've um, had Jackson County agree that they'll take on the contract with USGS, which makes sense because it's in their county. Um, but due to our interest in the watershed management planning and implementation efforts, we still want to be able to make sure that it's funded um, because the data is useful in general for the health of the lake and its watershed. So. <laughs> um, the funding mechanism, um, I'm kind of following suit with CBU. We're going to be, um, I'm proposing to give the funds to Lake Mineral Water Fund so that they can you know, take in all the different funding sources, whether it's from uh, the county, the city, private donors, and be able to then um, help fund the stream gauge. That is the entire situation in a nutshell. I put this together in a memo to you outlining what has happened and what our plan is moving forward. Bottom line is um, the cost of the stream gauge will be $7,000. Um, USGS is paying another $7,000 for the total cost of $14,000. Um, this is a little bit less expensive than previous years because the first year or two is always more expensive with installation of a new stream gauge. So um, we are, um, I'm proposing um, half of that $7,000 be paid for by the county and the Lake Mineral Water Fund will provide the rest of the funding through other means. Um, I'm in support of this. I um, drafted an MOU, which I apologize, have not gotten to yet. I ran it by Dave today, but um, it's a, I think, um, I think it's a good way to get all of our partners involved. And um, I just also included an email from CBU stating that they are definitely planning on continuing um, collecting water samples at the stream gauge. Um, the email was a little bit misleading from James, um, but they are still continuing, um, you know, supporting this. But this, that email was from around the time where we were still figuring out the contract <laughs> and all of that business. But, um, and I also included a long email from Maggie about the value of the stream gauge and the data that um, they're going to be getting from it. So does anybody have any questions? And I, I do have Jane here as well from, the Lake Monroe Water Fund. At this point, you just Pardon? need a motion. Yes. I move that the um, Monroe County Stormwater Management Board uh, make $3,500 available to help with the stream gauge. 
So uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, are there any comments or questions from anyone? Just I think this was fantastic um, the way it came back and uh, yeah, I, I agree that this could really help uh, with some collaboration. Um, so great, great work. Uh, it's just so easy to say yes on this one. I think we should just acknowledge how great that was and I know everyone does. Anything from anyone else? Well, I'm... May, may I just there. say thank you to everyone. I hope uh, to have our fundraising in high gear uh, it, during 2022 so that um, we will find other sources of funding and we don't have to come back to you. This sort of came up very quickly a couple weeks ago, and so we've been scrambling to... Um, put the funding together and uh, we have an ask out to Duke. All of these amounts are significantly less than the original 48,000 when we had to buy the gauge, install it and, um, and then pay for two years of uh, ops and maintenance by USGS. So um, this is more manageable, but it came up fast. And we uh, at the Lake Manor Water Fund are, trying to build a coalition of the counties, particularly the upstream counties that have a big effect on our water quality. And so engaging um, Jackson County Soil and Water District is a, a big win for the coalition. Anyway, thank you for consideration and, and uh, what looks like approval. Thank you. Yes, I, I also am very excited to Hear that Jackson County is going to be cooperating with this and hopefully that may lead to a lot more future cooperation with them, um, which would be good for all of us. Does anyone else have any comment or questions? Seeing none, is there any public comment on this item? And I do not see any. We have a motion and a second. Sorry about that. Um, Ms. Zetonia, would you please call the roll? Yes, Gittins. Yes. Jones. Yes. And right, Randolph? Yes. And Julie is not present, correct? I'm no, still here. here. Yes, she is. Oh, Thomas? Yes. yes. Thank you. Um, the request for funding for Lake Monroe Water Fund is passed. And now we can return to our typical agenda format and move on to public input for items not on this agenda which would be limited to three minutes. And I do not see any. So we will move on to approval of the minutes for October 13th, 2021. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Thank you. Um, Ms. Satonia, would you please call the roll on the minutes? Jones? Yes. Enright Randolph? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Gathens? Yes. Thank you. Um, our next order of business is the stormwater expenditure report for October of 2021. Okay, um, all right, this is the October report. Um, let's see, so what do I want to focus on? Let's see, so our crews have been busy um, doing ditching to prepare for paving. Um, we've had some other small projects related to you know, fulfilling um, 
uh, requests and different complaints. You'll see here, we also have the, um, the rest of the charges from the NASMA conference that um, it was Connie, Erica, and I attended. Um, the flaggers are always needed when we do ditching and other projects like that um, that don't require full road closure. We contract that out and the contract amount this year is much less than it was last year. So that number is staying fairly low. Um, disposal fees for um, our street sweeping. We have um, a couple more invoices for sweeping coming up, but that operation is wrapping up for the year. Um, let's see, um, this is some of the material we use to clean out the um, sand filter at the highway garage. Um, we're trying something a little bit different with the number 11 stone instead of all sand. I think that should help. Um, with the lifetime of the filter, since we're having to clean it out so frequently, um, it costs about the same as sand. Um, but I will keep you updated on that and see how that works. No one's complained to me so far. Um, uh, yeah, in our water permit, that's for uh, some bank stabilization work that we're proposing. I submitted that application a month or two ago. Um, we hear back from them on that approval. Um, and uh, yeah, um, next month you will see um, quite a bit on equipment maintenance and fuel um, that didn't get put into this report. So we'll talk about that next month. That number will be much higher since it wasn't in um, this month. So. Yeah. Well, the update I have on our budget for you. Anyone have any questions? Yeah. All right. If there are no questions from the board, is there any public comment on this item? And it does not look like it. So we will move on to our next order of business, which is staff reports. And is Ms. Ridge here for a staff report? I don't know if Lisa has anything that she needed to say. I put it on there just in case. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and Ms. Satania, if you would please. Yeah, the main thing I want to um, let you all know is um, that just after last month's meeting, unfortunately, uh, Connie Griffin decided um, to uh, resign from her position. And so um, she's no longer working for us and we are currently working on hiring um, her position. So um, a very big loss in staffing for us. I'm very um, happy for her to make that decision for herself. Um, I just wanna also um, reiterate to you a lot of that position is very high pressure. There's a lot of moving parts and responsibilities. So um, I know that you know, our program is seeing a lot more regulations from the state moving forward. Um, there's a lot of ordinance and things to manage, but um, I am uh, very confident that we will find uh, someone to fill the role and I'll keep you updated at next month's meeting um, with that process. So um, not the best news I wanted to give you but um, we're, we're hanging in there. It's been a rough month, I think. <laughs> um, give kudos to Erica since she had to take on a lot of the workload with the construction projects and everything. So I wanna thank her for, for stepping up and helping me out with that. Um, okay. Um, the other important item is the, um, the state general permits for construction stormwater and MS4. Um, thank you, Tron, for attending the MS4 annual meeting. I hope you got some good information on the new permit information, but um, the state received both permits back from the EPA with no objection. So they are in their final state. And so they will be released very, very soon. Um, the item is holding two public information sessions on them that Erica and I are going to attend. Any comments they receive from those meetings will go into the next permit cycle in five years. So the permits are currently um, in their final form. Um, next week, we have our contractors meeting that we're putting on. We have a wait list. We had to cap the number due to um, the room capacity at Ivy Tech, but 
Um, we do have um, a consultant coming in to discuss the new permits, what it's going to look like for contractors in our county. And we have two item staff who will be present to um, answer questions that either our staff or um, attendees at that meeting will have on it. So we're going to get the information out to our local uh, engineers, contractors as best as we can. So. Okay. That's all I have. Any anything else that comes up, I can um, communicate at the next meeting for you. So, you don't have any questions? No questions. Just want to put on your radar if you haven't gotten to it. Uh, in Assam sent out uh, the stormwater general permits email. Um, has a lot of detail. I'm sure you already know it, but uh, if you haven't looked at it, it's worth the read. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are there any other questions, comments? Uh, what is the date of the and time of the contractors meeting? Yeah, it's um, Wednesday, the 17th next week. Um, starts registration 8.30 to 9 a.m. Um, we will be providing lunch and I'm anticipating the presentations will end around 2.30 p.m. All right. Um, will there will it be recorded? Will it be? I'm currently working with Ivy Tech on that to see um, what the computer situation will be like. But I am having it recorded, or at least provide the PowerPoint presentations. Great. Thank you. Um, are there any further questions or comments? And seeing none, we have no new business. So unless anyone has something important to say, we are adjourned. Thank you, everyone.